Hi all. Hi there, um, all you cool cats and kittens. Hi, I'm Kerry Fennell. Hi, I'm Nick. Uh, I'm doing this for the Jam Factory. How you doing? I'm Nigel. I'm part of the Jam Factory. Not actually part of the Jam Factory, like a door or a window. Definitely not a window, because a window is a pain, and I'm not. I joined up with the Jam Factory before we performed in the Jam Factory. We uh, had concerts still in the incubator. Um, I've been a photographer there and part of the crew for several years now. I've attended many um, amazing gigs, uh, seen a lot of really cool uh, live indie New Zealand bands as well as international, so really lucky to have that. My favourite gig at the Jam Factory of the probably dozen or so gigs I've been to or as a team member um, or as a punter is Kendall Elise and when she had her whole band, I think the Belgraves down there, great show and that voice is just heaven itself. My favourites, really hard to pick, uh, but three really stand out, Stephen Tabiner, um, double bass player from Melbourne, absolutely astonishing, Kendall Elise, who I just love, and of course the wonderful Caladad from Sydney. They uh, were real standouts. Um, my favourite gig, I must say, would have been Shona Lang um, and the Narcs, uh, Skyscraper Stan, <laughs> um, and also many of the wonderful punk bands. Recently really enjoyed Tiny Ruins. I was amazed that they would come and play at our gorgeous little venue. Uh, I've been to heaps of gigs at the Jam Factory. Um, a lot of awesome ones. I think the best one I saw, or the one I'm going to give the shout out to, was Gecko, young English bloke. Did really funny original songs. It was a good night. It was... The first live concert I ever saw. Well... My memory isn't that flash when I go back that far. The first really memorable concert was most memorable. It was Muddy Waters in the Auckland YMCA. It would have been in the early 1970s. We went in the back door, pretended to be roadies. We helped set up the stage. I got to pick up the band. We saw the concert for free. And we got to hang out with the band at the party afterwards. Apart from being taken to see That's Country with Brendan Dugan by my father when I was young, <laughs> um, possibly Split Ends. I saw you 2 with BB King at the Basin Reserve um, in 1989. Good John Rolls. I believe it was The Cure. What I'm listening to at the moment is the Sleaford Mods with a song called Job Seeker. Pretty hardcore. On the stereo today, to help me through isolation, a signed copy of Lloyd Cole, on his recent tour, a bit of dub from King Tubby, Augustus Pablo, Junior Mervin, cause Sunday was reggae day, and the others have got Black, got that out, cause it's a song called Wonderful Life, cause it is some days, and snuck this in the very best of Japan. The Cure, Pink Floyd, Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> listening to Jen Cloa, who is the manager of Tiny Ruins, who also played at that concert and was amazing. I could also have listened to an entire night of her playing and I'm looking forward to getting another listen. What have I got for you? I have Cream, Wheels of Fire, Love Cream. Okay, so I'm old. I like all these old bands. Um, on the folky side, the incredible string band, Huge fan, still listen to them, have all their records, and I could say the same of King Crimson, still listen, still my favourite band of the heavier type. Who I'd like to see play at the Jam Factory, uh, shout out to Bill Withers, he would have been cool, but uh, I'd like to see Flight of the Concords with Lord. I think that would be a really good uh, concert, perfect for that venue, great venue. Well, I think the girls might agree with me here, um, but Serge Tankian would be really awesome if we could get him there. Well, Dead Man Six. The artist who I would, my dream artist for the Jam Factory, of course, has to be Robert Fripp, with or without King Crimson. Just love to see Robert Fripp. Um, yay the incubator, yay the Jam Factory. Cheers. Um, 
hope you're doing something creative with your time in isolation. Um, I look forward to seeing you all when we get back out. I hope you're all staying safe out there. And um, we hope to see you at the Jam Factory again soon. Bye. There you go. I'm nice in the Jam Factory. Come and see us. And that's it from me.